Wow. Hello, tubers. Well, uh, been trying to figure out what to do still about these brakes. I did get the um, fuel flow cube on and wired up. Of course, not hooked up to the tank because the tank's not in. But anyways, I have doing some research kind of from um, the friend Niall that was telling me that, um, you know, the, the smaller diameter the, the cylinder, the more pressure you can have and have kind of a, a uh, I guess, fluid mechanical advantage. And I did the... Uh, Did the numbers on these are 916 and I'm just guessing on the throw of about three quarters of an inch throw and then did the did the math and it come up with 1863 I guess cubic or point one eight six three cubic inches of volume I guess you'd say but if I did half inch with a one inch stroke, I get 1963, so I have more volume. So, anyway, I've come up with, I've got, got this half inch tubing, and then, I put it into this other piece of, I guess, would be well that's half inch tubing there half inch let's see there we go half inch tubing id and it slips into this i think it's three quarter inch tubing id with i think it's 35 wall and that could all be wrong but anyways that gives me almost an eighth inch of wall thickness to get strength because uh, Niall says I mean there's a tremendous amount of amount of pressure in there and I know the wall thickness on well here on these cylinders are are it's it's real close to eighth inch so um of course he's he was telling me I I thought that these would be for cooling which I could never see how you could get any cooling out of that just by pushing on that every once in a while but he says no these are for strength that's just beefing it up but it's not adding a whole lot of weight because it's not that thick all the way so he says that's just for strength anyway i guess my cry out to you guys uh, uh i know i had uh rob in uh mexico missouri he commented on saying that yes he said or he sent a on the on the YouTube site said that yes he said he he kind of determined too that he said that these were a slave cylinder here and not a master cylinder but now the company that these came from from oh shoot I'd have to find that paper again but they're a Czech Republic place and they call them a master cylinder so you know got two people saying differently so Anyway, what my question is, is, of course, uh, I don't know if I can get half-inch diameter cup seal, for one. And then the other thing is, um, I've got plenty of half-inch O-rings. If I made, if I machined everything, of course, to a half-inch O-ring and maybe put two O-rings, if anybody thinks that would work, I've been hoping to hear back from Niall about trying to uh, design something I could machine. So haven't heard back. So I thought, well, I'll put this out there on YouTube because, uh, well, because uh, yeah, like this morning I think it was I had a had a guy that says he's from. Mm, shoot, I, well, maybe he said he was from Canada, or no. Now, I don't remember where he said he's from, but right now he's communicating with me in the Philippines. So, man, 
I tell you, it's something else. This is just too cool. But anyway, so if anybody's got um, ideas and could could somehow send a picture or something of of um, an idea of of a master cylinder that's let's see, let me pause. Say roughly five inches long there, because that's all the room I have. I mean, uh, and then of course with the half inch, the way I've got it figured out, I'd have to get about an inch of stroke. So, anyways, I'll just leave it up to you guys and see if somebody can come up with something. Some maybe somebody's a, a hydraulic engineer or something, and we'll just put it out there and see what happens. So. I'll let you go, and God bless, and there you go.